Okay, a quick video as a, uh, a follow up to the video I just posted. Had a message, a very swift post it message from Rob Thetheridge uh, on YouTube, who kindly gave me some uh, things I could uh, things I could check right away. Uh, he told me to concentrate on the tubes at uh, this, this stage of the game. That was his first comment. Uh, so anyway, we have four tubes in here. One, two, three, and back here, four. This tube is not an original tube, but uh, this one here is a the DL96. I checked on pin 1 and 7 as Rob suggested, and uh, nothing on that one. Uh, although the connections, like I said, the pin in the socket is clean. Um, this tube here is DAF96, pins 1 and 7, no connection. So uh, that's, uh, that's probably what we're reading now with the, the struggle of this radio. Uh, this tube here is supposed to be DF96. I checked it. Pins 1 and 7 are no response on the ohm meter. Uh, it's a Rogers tube made in Canada, and the best I can see, it's kind of wore off the lettering. It says R1G2. It's the only thing I can detect on one section of the tube. In the back here, we have... Uh, tube DK96 and that's the only tube that's giving me a good reading on pins 1 and 7. So that's how far we are with the uh, Rogers Majestic RM776. Um, with regard to the tubes, uh, the listing is here of the actual tubes. Kind of a schematic of sorts. For those of you who find my hands not so steady here we go, let's try that. That is uh, the listing of tubes DAF96, a DL96, a DF96, and a DK96. That is a schematic of the radio. So, where to go from here? You know, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, I'd even be willing to take this radio and send it off. To somebody who would wish to repair it, and we can discuss the you know the, the conditions of that. I mean, you know, uh, somebody's interested in this radio. Uh, you know, I I certainly don't like to see these types of radios go to the landfill. Uh, so I'm all into saving radios, and even if it means giving a radio away, uh, uh, you know, I, I'd certainly be willing to discuss that because uh, it's no good to let this a radio such as this to uh, sit in a closet, never to be repaired. Next person that comes along may not have, have interest in this radio. And where does it end? It ends up in the dump. Or being scrapped, or beat up, or whatever. And that's just too sad of a story. This is a piece of Canadian history. And I'm, you know, I'm interested in radios and everything. Especially the vintage stuff from around the world. So, open to suggestions. Uh, Perhaps without, uh, you know, tubes, this may, uh, you know, obviously it's not going to do anything. Is probably why it's dead in the water. Thanks again, Rob, for uh, chiming in very quickly. Because I was just getting ready to pull the cabinet out and check for fuses and stuff like that. You know, and I may just still do that. Anyway, guys, keep on coming uh, coming back to uh, with your responses uh, as, you, uh, as you see fit. And uh, thanks for all your help. I really do appreciate it. And uh, let's see if we can uh, save this uh, radio and others from the garbage. Thanks for watching.